pace to this opening period and how important is this event to some of these student athletes well the Belfast Giants this is their home arena and we'll come back to that point because there's a scoring chance and it's in the net and Foley slides it in behind Jake Kiley some kind of hand some kind of finish and for Eric Foley his seventh goal of the season Kiley will be disappointed with that one he had his pad right against the post but somehow Foley managed to sneak that puck past him. He, he faked as if he was going to go behind the net. He decided to come to the first post. He was getting pulled off, and you know, we'll just get a chance to the rebound here. But, you know, the goal center has got to do better there. Come here. Foley with a nice stop and go there as well, and he just, from behind the goal line, reaches back and gets a little bit of a plinko shot off the skate in the back of the pad of Kylie. Both of these goalies had shutouts yesterday, and now a first goal in this Bell Pot final from Foley, the World Junior Championship gold medalist for Team USA last year. Providence team so far in this second period. You said Amoroso stuck out for you in the first period. Well, he's continuing that strong play. Good shot by Sturm off the left pad of hockey. He's looking for a rebound right there. Amoroso is vocal. He's calling for it again. Amoroso with the shot, and it's gloved by hockey and batted out of the air. Hockey got a glove on it, and Brasso doesn't give up. It's a five on three goal. They'll still have a five on four. It's a power play tally, 1 1. Yeah, I think Hidden Hockey might be disappointed with that. I believe he actually thought he had the, claw, the puck in his hand. It just dropped down behind him. And as you say, he didn't give up on the play. And Perso was there right on the doorstep to tie things up. And it's a 1 1 game. Well, let's have a look. This is a heavy shot by Amoroso. And it's a great screen by Sturman. Right there, Hockey thinks he has it, but Brasso says, I have other ideas. And Devin Brasso, his fourth goal of the season, a power play tally. And because it was a five-on-three, they will continue to enjoy a power play here, five-on-four. Credit has to go to Nico Sturm. He planted himself right at the top of the way to an area where he wouldn't be hurt. Sherrison had the puck bounce over his stick. Dickinson takes a bump from Duhame, but took that hit to make a play. Great shot from Carrier Line and going through. I'm not too sure if it took a tip the way through again, Murph. We'd like to see that in the replay. But great pressure from Clarkson. You know, coming from the one goal down to take the lead. Two goals to one. 7.47 to go in the second. Credit to the Golden Knights. Well, let's have a look back because Hayden Hockey didn't see it. There was plenty of traffic in front. And let's have a look. Carrier Line and Teco Carrier Line can really shoot the puck. And Sherrison is in front, and I think it's just straight through. It looks straight through in commentary. Pino never stops working, and right there he took a bit of a, a hack from Nico Storm. Here's Sturm. Sturm between the hash marks, in all alone. Nico Storm! Great job by Nico Storm. Fantastic hands. Had all the time in the world to drive through the middle of the ice. Cut his forearm, just slid it round. Into the now past hockey. Great goal. 3-1. Third goal of the season from Sturm. It's a nice little play at the blue line by Rempel. Rempel draws some coverage and Brasso with a lovely saucer pass. And sharking into the zone is Nico Sturm. 3-1 Clarkson. Yeah, that's a it's really good work between Brasso, Sturm and Rempel. That's two goals this evening for those. Against the last few days, and I mean that with a lot of respect. This is a, a tough team to play against. And there's a tap in! Well, there was the original shot by Quince, and Cooper will follow up. Again, pressure, pressure, pressure. You get the guys coming out there, the third goal's obviously give them a lot of confidence. And you know that that's a big rebound coming out there. He's got to push that into the corner. But what a finish from. Is that Cooper? The it's Cooper with the goal, yeah. What a finish from Cooper down low. Didn't have much to shoot at, just kept the puck on the ice, and a great effort again. Well, Cooper has been known for his defensive play. That's his second goal of the season. The original shot was Marley Quince. He'll get the helper. But you're right, it's a magnificent finish from a, a defensive forward. Almost down below the goal line he finishes here. That is quick. I don't think there's been a, a player that you could say is a weak link, and and, uh, and that, that's what you get because you've got these 22 guys all busting a gut to be the best that they possibly can. Duhame with the shot. It bobbled up on Jake Carlin. He patted it into the corner. We talked about rebound control earlier. He had good rebound control there, but Duhame, he's out front, and he battles it across the line. Four-two. 
to him with the goal again and you know making unusual things we just talked about it get to the front lap net you know the goaltender just uh, he wants an easy night here tonight and to him puts the brakes on he looks as if he's going towards the blue line puts the brakes on again a, a deflection off the defenseman's stick puts it into his path a couple of whacks at it managed to get a pass well that's the goal